Well, here's me reporting back on my toughest ever assignment. I mean, ten years in the wild. Whoa. I was researching um, the giant panda. Kal Kalahari. That's, that's, that's where I've been. And um, just came back, as a matter of fact. It's a, it's a terrible place. About ten years ago, I was sent into the Australian bush to uh, research koala bears. I've been researching llamas for what feels like years and years and years. Actually, not koala bears. Koalas. If there's one thing I've learned in my ten years uh, researching with these little furry fellas, uh, they are very, very sensitive about the fact they are not bears, koalas. Well, I've always been very fond of penguins, and I, as an author, I've always wanted to write a book about them. But of course, you can't just go into these things cold. Well, actually, it was very cold where I did end up going. I had to go to the Antarctic to study them. I mean, I had to think like a raccoon, I had to uh, act like a raccoon, I had to start speaking like a raccoon as well. I even moved in with them, and uh, when I moved in with them, they were wild. In fact, they were, they were livid. I tried to keep my distance from the otters um, so that I could observe them um, without interfering too much in their behaviour. Uh, they did keep coming up to my tent and stealing crisps. Hmm, some interesting facts about koalas. Hmm, how about the fact that they sleep for up to 18 hours a day? Hmm, interesting enough. Uh, they were very fond of me. They often stood on my head, you know. So for part of my research I found that I was travelling to the South Sandwich Islands. Um, well, there were no sandwiches there unfortunately because I was getting quite hungry. It's a bit of a disappointment. So I now consider myself quite fluent in otter. Um, I know that shh means water and ob ob means fish and means get the crisps. Well I think one of the most intriguing pieces of behaviour I observed when I was out in the wild was um, when I was in the Antarctic with the emperor penguins and I noticed something that probably even David Attenborough missed and that is that they are extremely good magicians. Koalas have an amazing sense of smell which is obviously, obviously comes in very useful when they're sniffing out their favourite kind of eucalyptus. <laughs> okay well ten years in the wild you've got to learn fast so um, did you know for example that raccoons are called masked bandits so they're little thieves the behavior they just steal everything and anything stealing all the time i had to learn to live like a criminal there were hundreds and hundreds of chin strap penguins which is apparently the most common species in the world i didn't find them to be common at all i thought they were rather posh they had airs and graces they live on a mountain and it was called mount tranquil um, because it's so peaceful because pandas don't make a great deal of noise um, they like to lie down and sleep most of the day and if they're not sleeping then they're eating and if they're not eating then they, they well, not to put too fine a point on it, they go for a poo 47 times a day. Well, they're very fond of it, as long as you've got a bit of boiled egg, they, they, they love that, and uh, ants eggs if you can get them, they're very fond of those too. On the whole, they do not spit at people, only at one another, and then only in their battles to establish a leader or maybe sometimes, to protect their space. Llamas are protective of their space. So if you could just back off a little. Thank you. Hmm. So do I feel as if I can communicate with koalas? Well, so that's the funny thing, really, because I spent about ten years with them. I still can't understand a word they're saying. Has it affected me? <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. Oh, said it. Mm. I'm as normal now as I as I ever was before. Actually, I'm terribly sorry, could you just excuse me one more time? I just need to visit the little boys' room again. Sorry. Oh, 43, the magic number. And I do find myself looking down my nose at times. Um, same as I've always been. Um, you know, I just eat normally and, um, yeah, not bird-like in any, any way, um, fine. Mm -hmm.